click the little red apple at any time to subscribe to our channel. Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. Today we're installing some drain tile from the backyard out here to the street and we have to hand dig it. So I'm going to give you some pointers and some tips. You notice right here on my trench, I've cut the sod off and set it over to the side. While we're not concerned about saving sod, if you cut the sod off, put it to the side, it'll make your digging so much easier. Plus you have a nice straight trench to follow. We're going to end up here at the curb with a pop-up. You can see the utilities here. Got cable, power, and of course they did not mark the power. They've got the cable line running through here. So we're trying to avoid that. And you can see the trench. Gerald's already found the cable once back here. And that's all good. We're not worried about the TV or the, t the cable. We're worried about electricity, which they did not mark, and the gas line. Gas line's not marked. And we know that line comes out here and is probably very close to our trench. In fact, Gerald, you can see the gas line right here. See it? See this, see this caution tape? You're right on top of that gas line. And it's just a shame that they didn't mark that. This little black wire right here, this is how they locate the gas, the gas line. The gas line is probably about maybe four inches underneath of this yellow caution tag. So definitely be real careful as you go through here. So after you take out a good shovel, working backwards, now we're going to go back through the trench and we're just going to clean the bottom of it. Just use your body weight, push it against you, and just shove it through, lift up your shovel, and dump out the soil. This makes a very clean trench. And you'll be at the right depth, the proper depth, to install your pipe. Probably the hardest thing about digging through like this is that you kind of lose your balance because you stand in the trench. But I like to think of it as surfing. I like to think of it as surfing. And you're on your board and making a turn at the bottom, but you get the picture. Within just a few seconds, you can see this trench is almost cleared out. You still on top of the line, Gerald? Yeah, I just need some more yellow tape. Right? How deep are you? Uh, deep. Yeah, I got up under the cable wire. You got water coming through it? Not yet, I didn't want to see it. Yeah. All right. I'm just trying to skim it to that, to that yellow thing. As long as you get down deep enough, it's good. Right. You're about ready to catch up right there where Derek's at. I mean, Okay, from right here at the end of this line, there was a pop-up here. Water just came up. So we've opened that up. We'll clean out, we'll clean out our trench. You can see water flows through here real well. We're going to send it all the way down here to the street. 
But what I wanted to show you was how shallow this gas line is. It's just unbelievable. This is only about eight inches deep. The caution flag's nowhere near where it's supposed to be. And this is the things why you need to locate utilities. And of course, we called the utility companies and had them locate, but they did not locate the gas line. So we had to widen our trench, move it over, which is just a pain in the butt. But you know what? It's just another day in the dirt. Okay, so what happens here is you can see this hill back in the back backyard and that water from the hill, it all comes down and you can see it, it, it just stands in their yard. So someone added a couple of catch basins, one here. Unfortunately, they didn't put any gravel perforated pipe through here. That's why this water stays here. If there was gravel perforated pipe under the ground, that water has a place to go. Right now it has nowhere. They've run their air conditioner condensation line over to the second catch basin. And that line actually ended right here. <clears throat> so we went ahead and hooked up a new pipe and it runs all the way out to okay. the street. So we added a pop-up here at the end of the line, a pop-up emitter. As water comes down the line, it lifts up that little lid and just disperses across the ground. It'll end up there in the curb, run down to the storm drain. So now we're backfilling and we've got some really crappy clay. We push it into the trench and we take that shovel and just chop it all up so it becomes a much more fine particle. And you can see the difference in the soil types here. Out front we have that white clay. Can you see that red clay? And you can see that it is a much denser clay than the white clay. But it's the same thing. We just put it back in the trench and then we use our shovel, chop it all up to make the fine particles and it'll settle back very nicely. Up here where the gas line was discovered, remember that gas line was only a few inches deep, so we had to move our trench over to avoid the gas line. If you discover a gas line as you're trenching, be sure to move your trench over so that you're not going down the, the gas line. You don't want to hit that or nick that. It's easy to avoid, just move the trench over. We made that connection to the existing line and this system is complete. This water will now travel from the backyard where it was flooded all the way out to the street where it belongs. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day.